It's nice to pick the three-piece suit. See people that I haven't just seen in so many years is wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. You know you were talking about waiting, but it's not really when we see you. Like, first of all, that epic arrival that you had. Come on, Tom. That's fun. Come on. That was fun. There's only one of those guys, and here he comes. Okay, question is, were yes. you piloting the helicopter? Not today. I, I do fly that helicopter, but not today. I didn't no. fly it. No, you, no. But that was a nice dismount you yeah, got out. Right. That was a good kept strike. The pro <laughs> kept the props rolling. You don't want to, you know, you want to wait for that rotor. Yeah. I did love, though, when you got out, you went straight to the fans, and you took time to really acknowledge everybody that was here. It's fun, you know, but I want to acknowledge everyone. I mean, this is quite a moment. It's been 36 years for this film. The fans have been asking for it all around the world, and people here, I'm just looking, going, I just can't believe this moment's here. And the actors, I kept telling them, it's coming. <laughs> and I kept having to push the film off another year, another year, and I just said, look, it's... We're going to have a great time when this opens. We're going to wait and we're going to deliver it for the theaters. It's going to be a very exciting time for everyone. You know, Joe was telling me that it was kind of hard to get you to, to step back in that jacket and, and become Maverick again because it's so special to you and because it holds such a special place to yeah, you. Yeah, had, everything had to be right. It had to be absolutely perfect. And as I said, 36 years, people have wanting to yeah. do it. And I, I did a lot of research throughout the years and thought about different stories and what we could do and technically developing you know, different cameras and systems on how, how do we approach aerial photography, how do we put the audience in the seat of the fighter pilot, and we're from American made to Fallout, McHugh and I were talking about it, Joe for 10 years, and the stories weren't right. And then it finally got to the point where... Look at that. So everyone's asking, it's gotta be right. It's got to be right. Yeah, absolutely. Do you remember that moment where you realized that Maverick was an iconic character in film? You know, when we were making it, I knew it was going to be quite a moment. Okay. I remember when, I, when you know, you can't anticipate decades later, mm -hmm. but I knew it was there was something very special about it. In the same way, when I was making Risky Business, there was just something unique about that character, and and I think the world and the characters and the same thing with Top Gun. It was that yeah. next level and. Working with Simpson, Bruckheimer, and Tony, being in that room, you know, they were asking me to make that movie for about a year. And I just remember sitting down like, this is gonna be very special. Yeah. When I really got in there with them. But to be, you know, you can't anticipate what's going to happen. I put everything I have in every movie I make, and but who'd think 36 years later, you know, and we're with the fans over there, I know where fans are. I was like, I don't we're want to disappoint them. You know, like, I remember when I saw. What are we gonna do? I'm like, I know, but it's daunting. Yeah. You know, what do you, and, and and there's not one person in this movie, and Joe too, and everyone that didn't that wasn't sweating bullets. And I said, you know what? If you're not sweating bullets making this film, you shouldn't be on this Absolutely. movie. You know. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, there were so many beautiful moments in the film that I loved, um, but I think the most beautiful were the scenes with you and Val. And to me, I was telling the other cat, your other castmates, that I didn't feel like that was acting. Number one, I just felt like that was two men having a really beautiful moment who had such a journey together. I felt that way when we sat down. We started talking about the film together and just looking at each other. You know, in the first one, I really rallied hard for him to make the movie, and because I wanted him in the film, he's such a, a, a tremendous actor, and to have him play that character, and finally Tony, we were like, Tony, you just gotta go, Tony Scott, the director, I was like, you just gotta go and tackle this guy, because I was like, you, Val, you gotta make this movie, you know, it was like, this is gonna be, you're gonna be amazing, and, and the kind of talent that he has, and you see that scene, it's very special, this is very special. Yeah. yeah, I think the way you all handled the scenes with him was just beautiful. It really, really was beautiful. He's, yeah. he's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Maverick, of course, is, is a guy that pushes the limits. He always goes, like, you say just, go to the line, he goes right over the line. Push. I'm saying. <laughs> just a little push. If I'm being honest, I see a little bit of that in Tom Cruise. Just a little <laughs> push. <laughs> <laughs> what made you know also that you had to go get Gaga for this song? That you knew that was, was who needed to sing this not title song? the song. I mean, she wrote the score. She was a heartbeat. It was something we were in the middle of. I, I'm very grateful to her because Hans, you know, I mean, I hired him first in Rain Man back in the day. In Days of Thunder, we made many films together, very talented. And Harold Fultemeyer's music's in the film also. And there's just 
there's an underlying theme that we needed and and it was a moment for all of us when she she came in and sent the song and I called her I was like you, you just you're amazing thank you this is this is our movie it was it was as if she was over there and these two worlds just collided it was a magical moment for all of us and working with her on it. and she's just look I have such admiration for her you know she's I went and saw her concert uh, jazz concert and this enormously talented so it's not just the song when people see the movie her themes are the heartbeat oh, yeah. an emotional heartbeat of this film well it, it definitely is that now real quick before i let yes. you go tarzan was telling me he's in mission impossible yes, seven with yes, you yes. and he said we ain't ready <laughs> we're not even close to being ready so what can we expect yeah. from these next two missions it's off it's crazy <laughs> it's great it's it's epic it's the cast is incredible. The story is just the scale in every way. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really, it's, I can't wait for it. It's, it's very rich, okay. the movie, very rich, the story.